those students in their places ready for our concert tonight. Um, Hillcrest has asked, we have a lot of people here tonight. If you are, if you can move towards the center of your of your pew there, if you could do that so everyone can take a seat. I see lots of uh, seats towards the back, and so uh, if you could do that so more people can enjoy the concert. We are so glad you're here tonight. Uh, Mr. Rigdon and I, we are very excited to present the concert to you tonight. Uh, these kids, um, are very um, excited as well to show you what we do in class every day. Um, I told the kids earlier today, I said, this is where you show them all that hard work uh, that we have been doing every day. And uh, tonight you'll hear from beginner, advanced, concert, symphonic. If you haven't been to our concerts before, if you're a new band parent, we ask that the kids stay here uh, for the entire concert. We think it's important to support each other and to hear all the bands and be supported. Um, if you have an emergency and do need to leave during the set changes, you'll just come to these areas where your kids are seated, ask the concert monitor if you can take your child and, and they'll let you do that. Um, but we're not going to send them to you, so make sure you're aware of that. Alright, um, also before we get started, I want to uh, thank a few people, the McCoy family and Barrett White's parents came and helped move all this equipment. We also have some high schoolers here tonight helping, Zach Granick, Tristan Workman, and Chandler Cotton. Always nice when those guys come back and, and lend a hand. And of course, the bands that you see here tonight, it's not possible without a supportive administration. So Mr. Grummet, can you wave at me? Where are you seated? I know you're here tonight. So there he is. Well, please give Mr. Grummet a big round of applause. one of the most supportive principals that you can work, work for and um, it sure is nice to have him at Ransom. Um, you know, some schools can't get their kids scheduled at the right time and Mr. Brunman always makes sure that we can along with Miss Ames and Mr. L. Um, they do a wonderful job supporting music in the schools. Uh, later on tonight you might see uh, Mr. Slayton, our school board member, as well as Malcolm Thomas, whose granddaughter is performing behind me. Uh, they're at a board meeting, but they want to be here for the concert tonight. Oh, they're here. Everybody, please, please thank them for being here tonight. Thank you. Some of you may have been at the All County Band concert uh, in November. And I tell you what, if you had heard Malcolm Thomas speak about music and how important it is to have music in the schools, um, you would know how supportive your superintendent and your school board member is. So um, thank you, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Slayton, for being here tonight. Well, without further ado, we're going to get started here. As, as custom we always do, we're going to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Haley Vranick, followed by the Brass Ensemble with the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
All right, so we're going to begin tonight with our beginner band. We're going to present two, cons uh, two songs tonight. Uh, these students, when they started in August, knew nothing about uh, playing an instrument. They didn't know which end to blow in. They didn't know what valves were and reeds. And so think about it. Second week of August, third week of August, and now they're giving a concert. Uh, a lot of them I saw beforehand, they said they were very nervous. And I said, you shouldn't be, you sound great. So uh, they are excited to play for you tonight. So we're going to begin with Christmas March. Thank <laughs> you. 